You talk to them, Riggs. And there seems to be a clear direction from the USGA. Brace yourselves. That they didn't reach out to Ryan Whitney at all. Ryan Whitney's swing coach proactively reached out to them. It was like, hey, we're doing this event. Here's what it is. Is this going to be a problem? We need an answer. The USGA was like, what? And really didn't want any part of this and had no intention of getting involved in this. But Ryan Whitney and his swing coach, to the point the USGA has hinted, they think he was looking for a way out of it, like an excuse not to play in this. Now, I disagree with that assertion. And Whitney hit me up today looking for like, hey, if we get rid of like, I guess people are saying because offshore casinos that we have nothing to do with have odds on it. Like if we just tell them to shut it down, can I still play? Well, we don't control though. We have no relationship with those. So I can't tell somebody that I have no relationship what they can do. I, they don't answer to me. But it may, I don't agree with the assertion Whitney. What, I think he wanted to play. I don't think Rick Whitney was running away from this. So I disagree with the USGA saying that. However, the fact that Whitney, through his swing coach, were the ones who initiated contact and were like, hey, take a look at this and tell us whether this breaks the rules or you think this is an issue. In the USGA, then you get the rules guy involved and different people, who knows? And they're like, well, if you want the honest answer, then yeah, it does. But even then, I don't think they were like 100%. We have a string. This is from the USGA. Direct, like they know we're going to say it. This is their their timeline of events. And the USGA went out of their way to say, now usually we do not give this information. However, since you guys, who we have a great relationship with, and many of your fans and followers were ripping us to shreds, we just thought it would be important to the discussion and for you to know. very important. And I cannot believe that we talked and screamed at Ryan Whitney back and forth, and he never mentioned put his hand up and be like, well, actually, we called the USGA out of the blue. My swing coach, like, hey, this event, it's a pr- basically almost sound like it's a problem, right? And they're like, yeah, right. And he's like, you fuck you, USGA. So here's their timeline of events. On September 16th, Ryan Whitney's coach reaches out to the USGA. According to the coach, Whitney wanted to make sure his status wouldn't be offended. The next day, September 17th, USGA responds, here's nothing. What did they respond with? I don't know exactly what they responded with. I, bo- I imagine it was, uh, hey, let's chat about this so we can get more information. September 26th, that's nine days later. USGA, reaches, USGA out reaches out again to the coach. Whitney responds requesting a phone call. As far as I know, none of us knew this was going on at this point. None of us. September 27th, the next day, USGA and Whitney have a phone call where we learn all the details and discuss issues. USGA is told Barstool will reach out to follow up. Now, when they say Barstool, do they mean Whitney? They mean me. Whitney texted me on September 27th at 9.20 a.m. and said, bro, not good. USGA knows all about this. Well, yeah, Ryan. They know all about it because, hey, Muppet, your coach called them. He went on to say, just had a 30-minute conversation with the guy about affecting my amateur status. It doesn't look good. I told him, listen, Riggs has been the one setting the whole thing up. He will will be in touch with you. I will talk to him and make sure he gets in touch with you. October 1st, USGA. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. What's up, Dave? Is this, are you hearing this recollection of events that we are laying out right now? No, I'm in a movie. I just walked outside. What's going on, bud? The USGA is saying the reason you're not playing this tournament is because you proactively alerted them to this tournament through your swing coach and basically back them into a corner, be like, hey, is this an issue? They, they're they saying if you never reached out, they never would have said a word. I mean, I was told by the guy, hey, you got to make sure this is okay. So Who's the guy, your okay, coach? Sure. 
Yeah, the guy I work with on my swing, he just said, hey, you might want to make sure this is all right here. And I said, okay, for sure. What do you mean? He goes, well, if you're playing for money and it gets out there, they could end up saying you couldn't play in May. How so do you not mention that? Sure. How do you not mention that in the entire dispute yesterday when we're pointing the finger at the USGA? They are openly being like, your guys like were pushing the issue. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, they, they, them ended up saying no is what was more frustrating. But for me to go and say to them, hey, can I make, make sure I can, I just want to make sure I can do this is not like. Oh, that know, changes. I, I mean, that changes it. How do you not? Uh, this is an event that they were just going to ignore. I, I, don't guess, I don't really disagree with that. I don't even want to be screaming at you right now. But for me to just make sure it's okay and then for, to then say, well, it's not okay. Well, I'm like, well, good thing I did. No, because no. What if it? What if it? No, no, Dave. I'm telling you, you can say no. What you? you I know you're going to try to spin it. To I'm, me, not no, spinning it. I'm not if spinning it. I'm not spinning it at all. Hold on. Let me talk you. Let me talk you, fucking pigeon. If you're trying to spin it into saying I don't want to play, dude, I, I would. You know how? You know how easy it was going to be for me to win that match. It's ten thousand dollars that I had already fucking spent. You think that I'm afraid to play this fucking golf? Match? I didn't say how that. Stupid. How stupid? Shut up. I'm talking. How stupid but you're making no sense because I clearly shot, said you want shot. to play. But but that's the whole point, you idiot, dude. I do want to play, so I'm calling, making sure, hey, when I play in this match and win $10,000 off this complete loser with the worst swing I've ever seen, I will be okay, correct? It will not affect anything in May, correct? Well, what do you know? The guy called me and said, actually, you know what? It will not be okay. So at that point, yeah, I brought it up. But at the same time, if I didn't and it happened and then I got taken away from me, then I want to be even more, more upset at myself. So for you to spin your little webs over there and to be sitting on the radio and trying to say that I called and like wanted to get out of this is absolutely insane. I called to make sure it'd be okay so I didn't get fucking blackballed in the end and put my partner in a big time shitty situation. After doing that, they said I couldn't play. What do you want me to do? Me not mentioning that I got in touch with them, it was still their decision. Dude, yeah, it's but, not but it, 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 you alert but, the but, authorities but, to something that it's like they, they, they were man, never going to be involved. But, but, but here's the thing, Dave. I didn't know if at the end of all of this, if they would get involved. What if, what if this, what if our This is because and, you're, and you're, 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 you're just as much in this, video, rookie, video, you're just as much if, in this world dude, of like rules that they were not going to get involved. They, they couldn't be clear. Okay, well, but Dave, you, you can't, okay, you can't, you cannot say what they would have done before or after. The guy I work with on my swing, Sean Hester, for anyone listening, has done wonders for me. Everyone get in touch he with sound, me. Yeah, he, he sounds like a real, a real fun guy. Well, I mean, he's a great guy, and he's an awesome swing guy. He's part of the Alex guy, too. And for him to come to me and say, Ryan, you've never played in any of these USGA things. They are very particular. They are very involved in the rules. If this match you're playing... How do you not players, mention yesterday? How do you not mention this yesterday? It colors the entire conversation. Uh, why didn't I mention it? Because, I mean, I'm pissed off that they ended up saying I couldn't play. Dude, but, you can believe what you want. I wanted to play this, but well, for me to then it, mention it, it, and I it, brought it up, yeah. It, oh, 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 so, so it is believing. We're all on the same page. Look nobody's look just, nobody's look, disputing look, the, look nobody's it disputing it. But the, leaving out the fact no, 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 that no, you're... No, 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 look at it this way. Look at it this way. For me, for, me to, for me to bring up the fact that I was the one who made the call, it obviously makes me look like shit, but I still wanted to make sure it was okay. So in the end, yeah, I got it on the radar, but if it had happened and... It, and you and Big Cat and the influence you guys have, and it got millions of views, which honestly could have happened. And then the USGA says, hey, look at this kid playing for $10,000 with gambling on side sites going on. He's supposed to play in the four ball in May. I'm going to say he can't, which they have done shit like that before. So me calling was a brutal, brutal situation, but I did it to be safe, more safe than sorry, to not screw over a partner in May, and then they ended up making this brutal decision. So you can fucking spin the web. but I am I'm not, not spinning anything. You're I've spinning. Never, I've never been. I've never, you're trying to. I've I'm not. I've never to play this match. Well, I didn't say you were afraid. I said you wanted to play. I'm thing that I'm calling the authorities. I'm calling the authorities, dude. I'm in the movie theater at Chestnut Hill right now with my son again. You're interrupting me, you fucking idiot. And I'm trying to sit here and enjoy it. And I got Frankie Barelli telling me to call on the radio with breaking news. Cause, oh, it's breaking news. news. I gasped. And the I gasped. News, the breaking news me calling. The brand breaking news of me calling is still to make sure it was going to be okay. It sucks I put it on the radar, but none of us 
Nobody listening, none of us talking right now know what would have happened. Yes, we do. Went crazy viral. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we do. Don't. Yeah, we do. No, this we tournament would have no, happened. It would have been on our way. And Listen, I might not we. Have been able to play it. Yes, you would have. They weren't going to say a thing. Able... They would have said, hey, worst case, that. worst case, Whitney, don't do it again. But we okay, just read okay, the rules. Okay. It can here's, be spun. It's in. You basically, your swing here's, here's coach went out of his way to get this thing canceled. You know what? You know what? My swing coach, if that's him going out of the way to get it canceled, then honest to God, I'm going to tell you, he is not trying to do that. What he's trying to do is make sure I got my ass covered. This guy's been a part of all the USGA things and tournaments and all this shit, so he knows how weird it can get. He knows how fine, like minute they cover the rules, whatever the term is. And you knew it. And he was like, and he was like, and what? you knew it. You knew it not bringing that information up yesterday because you knew how it would make you. Like, how could you not bring that up, what we were saying about the USGA? The USGA is sitting there being like, we're getting because trashed. In the end, in we're the getting end, trashed. They we're it. getting they sewered. It. Yeah, because you, oh you, you pushed them into a corner. It's like, we can't do okay. this, right? So, right so, you're like, okay. hey, your swing okay. coach is like, test. just tell us we can't do it, right? <laughs> tell us we can't do it. And they're like, you can't do it. No, he said, hey, Ryan, why don't you call this guy I know at the USGA? Why don't you give him a ring and make sure that this match is okay? I said, are you sure? He goes, yeah, you never know what they'll say at the end of all this. I go, all right. I got the guy's name, Robert Auchinfuss. I gave him a ring, talked to him for 30 minutes, gave a complete spiel. I now. have like, this is just, I have like can I talk? 10 to 20 communications from the USGA of people not getting back to each other, just silence, weeks passing. The USGA is now like, we had a good relationship. We were never going to do anything. But Whitney and his swing coach did everything in their power to basically cancel this. All right, all right. So, so, okay, so this is, so the side that the whole Barstool Radio peasant gang is all spinning is that I'm afraid to play rigs. Is that what? Oh, I am not saying that. No one said that. Not once. Okay. The USGA right, so thinks guys, that. The, USG, the USGA Riggs, does think Riggs, that. Riggs, Riggs, I'm, I'm a, okay, well, I don't really care as long as I can play in this tournament in May. And Riggs, I'm a better golfer than you. I am better than you. You're begging for strokes. You know I'm better than you. So it's like for you guys to sit there and think that I'm the one that's like, oh, my God, I can't play Riggs. What am I going to do? Hey, you keep saying that. So you keep, you're the, the only one. Hey, hey Mora, the, the only guy, one that's Riggs spinning anything is, is you. You're the only one spinning this web Riggs trying to guy, change the narrative. You the whole narrative Riggs is that you legitimately Riggs withheld Riggs information Riggs yesterday because you knew it would make you look bad. You texted me and said, bro, not good. USGA knows all about this. Yeah, they know because you fucking told them. You can't text, send a text, be like, hey, the USGA is on to us. Why? Oh, because I called him oh, and tipped no. him off. Oh no, I can't play. I can't play the guy Riggs. He's the guy who. But that's that your point. You're, you're, you're deflected. That has nothing to do with it. Eva. Dude, the fact that I said that they're on to us. Yeah, I told them about it, but at the same time, but you can't doing play. what I was told. We, oh, with the God. whole conversation I, of us just, ripping the USGA is like they stuck their nose where it didn't belong. They didn't stuck their nose. You put your two fingers in their nostrils and dragged them Dave, over. Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. The fact that I, the fact that I got, the fact that I got them involved to make sure everything was going to be okay is still, it's still on them that when they heard what was going on, they were like, no, no, no. Well, that's I mean, because you guys are making them fucking all nervous. Well, how do we make him nervous? I'm because you're calling him, him out of the blue, be like, heads asking, up. I'm God asking. knows what your swing coach is saying. He's represent. Your swing coach is representing the whole damn organization. But he never talked to anyone. He goes, Ryan, give the guy a call. Make sure it's okay. Hey, hey, Ryan, give the guy a call. Make sure it's okay. You sure, Sean? Yeah, you might as well do it, dude. You never know how they could act when money's involved with an amateur. Okay, Sean, I'll give the guy a call. Hey, Rob, what's going on? I'm playing this guy, Riggs, from Barstool. He uh, has a four-play podcast. He's a fucking idiot. And we're going to play each other for $10,000. Okay, Ryan, well, I don't know if that's going to work out because that's a lot of money, and that's against the fucking whatever the amateur status is. It really and it isn't. We read the thing. rule. It really isn't. But I know. it's like hey, you, got, but you, got everybody Listen, in this big, you got everyone in this big right. fucking tizzy. I'm going to go back in and enjoy my movie. Well, you, you probably took your baby to the Joker. He's probably <laughs> like, you know. Like, hey, what uh, movie are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can sit there. You guys can sit there and say I'm afraid. I brought them in. Nobody yeah, said you're afraid. Nobody said you're afraid. Okay, well, but you had a dishonest conversation yesterday. You had a dishonest conversation. No, I didn't. Because in the end, in the end, I'm the one that told them. But in the end, they are the ones who made this stupid decision. So in the when we're shitting on them, they're still the ones that when they called and made sure a match is okay to make sure a fucking partner tournament is going to be all cool in a couple months. They're the ones who said, no, it's not cool. So fucking shit on me and say whatever you want. But if all you guys were, if I was sitting in front of all you guys, you wouldn't say shit. You're all a bunch of fucking pussies. You don't there, think you know. I would say so shit in front of you? That's the most. Well, you're going to beat that, us up? That, that is the dumbest thing 
I've ever heard. You're going to beat us I, up, you big bully? What are you I wouldn't say anything. Five foot five. You're five foot five. Well, I'm Give not going to say please. anything in front of that, that is yeah, you, crazy. You probably won't. You got your, you get, you just, you just all talk over there. Well, yeah, all right. Yapping yeah, away. Yeah, very different yapping when you're here. Yapping away. Portnoy's yeah, a yapper. Very different. Portnoy's Listen, a yapper. I, I call you know it. I see you know what I do? I don't withhold information. In the NHL. In the NHL. I don't withhold information. Listen, that's black and white TV days. I don't withhold information. If if I placed that call, I would say it in real time. You tried to skew the I I skewered the USGA in my mind. They yeah, I don't like this decision, but you made them do it. I made them make a decision, Dave. Yeah, that's you, exactly you what you did. Terms? You you I, made them I, make a decision. I, how, oh, so 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 the USGA, the governing body of golf, with seven hundred thousand members, little old Ryan Whitney can make them make decisions. How fucking you, dumb you are made you? them make a decision. You brought this event and said make a decision. So that's how powerful I am, USGA. All right, you know what I'm going to have them put me in the next year. Next year's U.S. Open. You next have Ryan Parzali's swing coach. Hey, you guys, called put me them in the up. Open. You called them hey, up. Guys. Yes. Hey, USGA, uh, put me on the Ryder Cup team. Uh, you, I do. You do whatever I say. What are you I demand talking things. about? You're I'll making no Ryder sense now. You're just making What do you mean? No You're sense. telling me that I made the USGA do something? Yes, you made them weigh in on something that they didn't want to weigh in on. You, you made, made them, them weigh in. in, yes. I made them weigh in. I was told to make sure something was okay. How many times do I have to tell you guys this? So which one is it, guys? Is it me not bringing it up yesterday or is it me calling them? I, I don't understand it. What are you What's talking about? I, you what are you talking about? You're, you're telling me you're, before, you're telling no me sense. before. You're telling me before that I should have just brought this up yesterday. That I was the one who yes. got in touch with them. But then, but but then you're saying I also made them make a decision. Also so how true. The fuck do I do both of those? How, how do I do both of those? What? By asking if everything. If by asking if it's okay, and then at finding out it's not I okay. Lost it. He's making both no those, sense. Both of those are on me. Both Is anyone watching your you kid? No Is he sense? just sitting alone in the movie theater? Yeah, I left him alone in the movie theater, but he's got a big old box of popcorn, so it'll be all good. But. Yeah, you did both. You should have told us yesterday. You called, and yes, you made them make a decision. I don't understand how those are two different things. If this wasn't a uh, – I, I mean, this is just like I, – I, you know what we'll do? We'll set it up big time. After this four ball, I won't get any more USGA events, and we'll play this fucking match for whatever Riggs is wants. I'll lose my amateur status. I don't care at this point. we got to wait till after May. So, yeah, it's another year for people to complain and to put the wine, and maybe they won't be interested. But after all this, I'm pretty sure they will, and I will pound you, Riggs. I don't care. I'm not afraid of you. You suck at golf. I watched a video today. You made a double bogey on a 330 no, You watched it, though. Four. Appreciate that. Suck. Yeah, I know. I'm getting your clicks, but yeah. suck my balls, all you guys, okay? So listen, I'm not biased, talk Whitney. About me, re- talk about me. Talk about me. The rest of your radio show, Dave, fucking peasant, and keep bringing my name up and saying, "What's the word? What's the word?" Who, what's nobody has said Whitney's afraid. But I'm going back. I'm but going you back have to mention abominable. that you I'm called the USGA. I'm, I'm going to go back into a abominable and now enjoy I have, my life. I have to now I apologize to, to the movie. USGA I because of you. I get to go to the movies on, on Tuesday afternoon while you're stuck in the radio. So I'm going to go enjoy my life. I hate You're politics. on the radio right now. You're, you're talking into your phone in the corner while your kid's eating popcorn. Certainly have a little kid unattended with popcorn, too. Listen. He had to tell us he contacted the USG. There's only one reason he wouldn't, and that's because he knows it doesn't look good. Correct. And then he spins it like we never said he's afraid. I don't think he's afraid, but you can't. I apologize to the USGA. I don't agree with their decision, but you call me up and you say, hey, give me your opinion. And our opinion is like you shouldn't do it. You can't get that mad at me like for doing that opinion. You knew clearly they thought maybe something would be. And by the way, I disagree. The USGA is also being very clear. If that phone call was not placed, nothing would have happened. It would have been like I spent all yesterday railing, like just turn the other cheek. If if people complain after it's over, be like, hey, you can't do that again. That's basically the USGA being like, that's exactly what we're going to do. Until Team Whitney was harassing us, being like, this is illegal, right? This is illegal, right? I shouldn't do this, right? And then they're like, oh, oh, how do you not mention that part of the puzzle? I apologize to the USGA. Ryan Whitney has made me apologize. I apologize to the USGA. They did not do what I accused them of doing yesterday, which was like stick their nose in something. That, that was the phrase I know I said yesterday. The USGA stuck their nose where it didn't belong. No, they did not do that. Whitney and his swing coach 
grown man swing coach, has a personal swing coach like he's on the tour for one <laughs> USGA event in the Fallon Cup, is calling them. You can't then be like, oh, they, why'd they get involved? Why'd they get involved? You asked them to get involved. <laughs> 